YouTube was founded almost 15 years ago to the day, and in the time since it's gone through countless iterations, created millions of lines of algorithmic code, turned wallflowers into multi-millionaires from the privacy of their bedrooms, and had ubiquitous influence on human behavior and the shaping of cultures on a global scale. 180,000 days worth of content is uploaded to YouTube every single day, while 5 billion videos are viewed in that same amount of time. That means it would take 493 years to watch all of the content content uploaded to YouTube just today. Listen, if that was all Minecraft Let's Plays and Trisha Paytas crying on her kitchen floor, sign me the f*** up. Otherwise, that's way too much content. How you even manage to find this video amongst all that is like an Old Testament miracle in itself. Anyways, for a website that has had such an impact on how we consume entertainment, that has created this meritocratic distribution system that, although flawed, allows anyone with a camera phone and an ounce of resolve to make a living doing something they love. You would think that a a website like this would be universally loved. But my friends, I carry with me today the burden of bad news that there are people in this world that simply do not like YouTube. And I just, <laughs> oh Lord. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new apple cider vinegar sponge bath. My name is Leon Lush and I am no capping when I tell you that I appreciate your presence here in this moment. We live in a time where online reviews rule the marketplace and our lives. We live and die by them as a culture. Unless you're filthy rich, nobody impulse buys, right? We're all pulling out our phones and our laptops to make sure we're not getting do -si do by some third-party dropshipper on Amazon by reading the reviews. It's like, hey, this looks great, you know, but why did Janet only give it two stars, you know? Is she too stupid to put the batteries in it? Or is she saving me from buying dog Ooh. that this company's marketing as a Tootsie Roll? You know what I mean? The online review industry has helped millions of people make informed decisions, and that's exactly what I want to do here for you today. Right after a word from Leon in a winter hat about today's video sponsor, ExpressVPN. Hell yeah! Thanks, Leon. Listen, guys, I've been using ExpressVPN now for over a year, and it is my virtual private network of choice because it's so easy to use, it's fast as hell, and it protects your internet experience wherever you or I decide to log on. In addition to keeping my data secure while I'm here or when I'm out traveling, I use it to circumvent geo restrictions when I'm browsing the web or trying to stream my favorite shows. <laughs> For example, services like Netflix have different offerings depending on what part of the world you live in. So if you're chilling in the US, you want to watch Doctor Who, you can't because they only offer it in the UK, but you could just fire up ExpressVPN and connect to a server in the UK and bingo bango, you're back to binging in your bathroom. Same goes for Hulu, Prime Video, YouTube, wherever you like to consume content and it doesn't matter what you're on, iMac, iPhone, iPad, PC, Android. ExpressVPN's got an app for that. It's less than seven doll hairs a month with a 30 day money back guarantee, so you got nothing to lose. So take back your internet freedom today and find out how you can get three months free by using my link in the description of this video. That's expressvpn.com slash Leon Lush. Big thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and for supporting YouTubers that you and I both love. I appreciate you guys. Are you spending your time on the toilet wisely? You're likely watching this video while taking a dump, but have you even vetted YouTube as a reasonable source of entertainment while you're taking a deuce? Because according to Kurt KO, it is, is true. A big drama platform, left versus right, fans versus haters, and immature comment wars. It's really shameful to see many people act like caveman saying ooga booga and fighting with sticks and stones. That is a one star review of YouTube.com. Does this really sound like a site that you and I should be supporting? There is no direct phone or email to communicate with YouTube. What's that tell you? They terminate accounts on a whim and shove ads in your face every five minutes. Personally, I'd like to see the whole thing get flushed like the turd it is. YouTube is a turd that needs to be flushed. Yeah, you're on the toilet about to flush your own turd using this absolute trash service? Get woke, idiot! You wouldn't read a review like this on Amazon about a humidifier and then go on to buy said humidifier. So why are you going to just log on to YouTube without doing your due diligence first and making sure you're not on a trash website like YouTube? <laughs> okay, guys, sargasm uh, aside for a second, there's a site called Site Jabber. It's like one of those sites where anyone can leave a review about any sort of business or anything. Uh, and there's quite a few reviews about YouTube.com as a website and I just get a kick. I don't know why, it's one thing to like go to Twitter and scream into the void for five minutes about getting demonetized or whatever. That's where people go to cry about YouTube. But to actually take the time to hop on to like 
a website dedicated to writing reviews about businesses and, and write up a, re, a review about YouTube is uh, is, <laughs> is really funny to me. So we're gonna, I just wanna, I wanna make sure we're not doing ourselves a disservice by using YouTube when there's so many negative reviews about it. You know what I mean? Like we wouldn't go on Amazon and, and buy a two and a half star product. You would never buy a two and a half star product yet. We're on sitejabber.com and YouTube is, well, four stars, which I guess is pretty good, but let's see what some people had to say. The comment sections are terrible. They are filled with one, kids posting overused, unfunny, unoriginal copy-paste comments. Two, more overused stuff, memes, jokes, etc. Three, on some videos you will find racism, sexism, etc. While mysteriously on some other videos you will find intense anti-racism and anti-sexism. You mean to tell me that sometimes in the comments on YouTube there's racism and sexism and then mysteriously in other videos there's anti-racism and anti-sexism? Boom! I can't, I can't, that's, what? What are you talking In arm of the global New World Order tyranny, as the globalists move on to create the New World Order, several tech companies, if not all, lined up together to create censorships and persecution while the uh, chemtrails agenda 21 jump out the fucking, oh boy, conspiracy theorist alert. Look out. This guy's probably in Kate Yupp's comments trying to figure out if she's still kidnapped or not. <laughs> Tried numerous times to play Eddie Cochran videos and is constantly locked. Pretty rubbish, really. <laughs> <laughs> it would like, would you ever take the time out of your day to, to go on to Site Jabber and leave that review? Like, <laughs> we're gonna try this out though. Hold up. I mean, let's be honest. All the Eddie Cochran videos work for me. I don't know what Patricia's struggling with unless she lives outside of the US. Maybe there's like some geofencing and she can't watch them in the country she's from, in which case. ExpressVPN would be perfect for you. Just log on to the US server. Oh, Dan, you know what? I did the I did the integration already. I'm sorry, I got a little carried away there. You can sort by newest to oldest though. So I want to do that and then go all the way back to the oldest reviews to see how people liked YouTube, you know, back when it first came out. 2009, March 27th, vids. This is a good website to post all your funny vids and express yourself any way you want and see what people think about what you do. Oh my, God. so innocent, so, so sweet and subtle and simple. Like just, it's a great website to just post videos of yourself and show people about yourself, what you do. Long before monetization and the Jake Pauls of the world came and ruined it and demonetization and people crying about watch time. This was back in the days, 2008, 2009. Back when Leon Lush started, was uploading covers of uh, <clears throat> Wyclef John songs. Girl. Oh, no. It was all for the love of it. There was no money involved. It's just because you were insecure and wanted some sort of positive affirmation from strangers on the internet, which is still true to this day about most YouTubers, but now there's also money involved. New Year's Eve 2009, Jammer D says, I could get lost in YouTube for hours on end. I think that TV stations and the like should allow clips on YouTube. <laughs> oh man, if he only knew that YouTube would turn into late night television highlight reels. Like, so you think you can dance? Fast forward 10 years, how's carpool karaoke sound? Same thing, different time frame. What I really love are the people I follow who give commentary on what they have heard in the news, movie reviews, people who have skits, or those that sing really good with covers in their own stuff. YouTube is nasty commenters, but I don't read the comments often, nor do I make comments that often. I vote. I think that it's great to see videos run freely like this. This is so pure. Back when uploading YouTube videos was just a form of self-expression and creation and had nothing to do with the business side of things. That's all gone now. We've we've completely we've completely transcended that and it's all run by advertisers and it's it's just this big kind of corporate machine that has a facade is like express yourself, right? Which we know you can't really do <laughs> on YouTube if you want to stay monetized. You have to censor everything and not be sexual. You can't make kids content and certainly don't reference any trending topics or, or current events, you know, news, war, any of that stuff to monetize. Can't run a business that way. But, it, but it's still the epicenter of independent creation and people making a living on YouTube. You just have to do really, really trivial dumb shit like make videos about reviews of YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is one of those sites that is a double-edged sword. People just have to know how to handle it and it can be a great tool. 
And just like the internet, it has dark spots that many should just avoid altogether. You know, that's interesting because that's exactly what I tell girls about my dick. Don't you think we should look at some mediocre experiences though? Let's take a look. So there's another site called Trustpilot, which is basically the same as Site Jabber. It's like, hey, we review all businesses. So sign up and leave a review and you can find out what business to use. And they, they have a YouTube uh, section as well. 1,440 reviews, two and a half stars, YouTube, out of almost 1,500 reviews rated poor. Oh. You know, that's what I've been saying. That's what I that's what I've been saying. Just no powerful stuff. Censorship disgust me. Bitcoin and hodl. <laughs> okay, guys, disclaimer alert. Uh here, disclaimer alert. This next comment, it's a it's a little bit long, but I, I got to reading it. I've read the whole thing already. I pre-read it, and it was so good. It's like a novel I could not put down, and it was just it was so good that I, I'm so excited to share this with you. I want you to just just listen into this. We're going to read through it together, a little music in the background, and just take this in because somebody actually took the time to write this four-paragraph comment on Trustpilot about YouTube. <laughs> There was a time when I liked YouTube, but now I absolutely hate it. Well, my headline says it all. There was truly a time when I liked YouTube, but that was many years ago. I do not even complain about the ads like so many other users complain here because that is what Adblock software has been created for, so no problem with that. The problem I have with YouTube is the immense amount of paid YouTube people that always have their ugly faces in front of the camera. May it be in video games, some guys or girls in their stupid bedroom talking nonsense, or even pilots. Mostly female, from what I saw. Guys and girls, what the hell you all need this goddamn attention for? You got some problems or something? Just because a few people are out there making money by uploading any kind of crap on YouTube, receiving payouts from sponsors, who obviously do that on purpose and with something greedy on their minds, there is no need that I want to see your goddamn face all the time or hear your stupid voice commenting the stupid stuff you do. Like in Let's Play videos, commenting everything. Although I have eyes and I am not blind, so I do not need any comment because I can see what is going on. Jesus Christ, these people all must have a bad ego if they need the attention so much that the entire world can see their ugliness and their arrogance. It always makes me to punch into my screen. <laughs> <laughs> good luck to find good documentaries on YouTube either because either on the start, right in the middle, or at the end of the video, which you cannot even block, they suddenly spam you with an ad telling you something like, subscribe, subscribe, give me money, give me attention, give me this, give me that. Really annoying. Same with videos that always include some kind of stupid symbol of the uploader on one of the corners of the screen, which kills my joy to watch the video entirely because half of the screen is blocked by these stupid symbols. Very often, even at the end of a good documentary, during the last half minute, pictures of other videos are spamming right inside the video, blocking 75% of the actual video that is still running. And you can't even block that. It just sucks. And don't get me started on documentary videos where you think that it must be good stuff considered how long they are, but no! It is just the exact same video two times put into one just to receive more clicks. And why the hell so many people upload the same stuff that is already on YouTube anyway? What is this, a competition or something? I mean, yeah, kinda, it kinda is, yeah. I was a YouTube member since 2006, so believe me, I know what I'm talking about. And it truly was not that crazy or bad, very likely due to the fact that Google didn't own YouTube back then. Yes, they did. <laughs> but now, as everyone has internet access today and tries to make money with a massive amount of clicks or by just uploading his or her stupid face, nobody wants to see the quality of the internet and YouTube videos crashed rapidly down to zero. Yes! Zero! Goodbye, YouTube! I have enough of that crap website you now represent. <sighs> okay, sarcasm aside for a second, I'm not really big into award shows, but this particular one-star comment on Trustpilot needs a Tony or an Oscar or a Grammy, whatever it is. All four of them, three of them. This is the Irishman of YouTube reviews right here. I am this close to putting the wheels in motion to getting this review etched on my headstone. I know I can make it happen. It's going to have to be small font because it's such a, it's like four pair. It's a very long review, but uh, oh my God, 
I am touched. I love this. <laughs> this is so good. Since there's obviously going to be no topping that comment, I think that was the apex. This video is meant to be sarcastic, a little bit, a little bit fun. I didn't realize there was like these websites where people were leaving reviews about YouTube. You know, I'm familiar with myself even guilty of going onto Twitter and crying about when something goes wrong or you get demonetized and, and don't get it twisted. Like YouTube has its problems and its woes. Um, I'm an optimist at heart. Uh, you know, I, I love YouTube. It's provided some in, incredible experiences in my life and I, I love making these videos, um, but that doesn't come without its drawbacks. So yeah, YouTube can be a real pain in the ass. It sure can, but if, if you look at it through a macro lens, right, uh, it's, it's incredible. Like what, in, in, as a 34 year old person to think that I could be, you know, cracking jokes and recording videos with my wife for my second channel and, 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 uh, you know, just having a ball up here in the office and, and you make a living doing it. It's, it's a, a dream come true that I, I never thought possible. I think part of the reason why I've been able to, to do that at this stage after, you know, years of failing at it. And now where I'm at now is because of, um, just having the right perspective of the process and, and the appreciation for it. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, I don't usually like to go on tangents like that, but uh, I just thought <laughs> this was funny, man. I see a lot of these people just, I see a lot of people crying on Twitter, online, just in general, people crying about this, crying about that. And it's like, I don't know, man, if you spent, if you spent 40% of the time you spent crying on just working a little bit harder or like trying to get better at what you're doing, you you would you would be four steps ahead at, at getting to where you're trying to go. And uh, with that being said, stay tuned on my Twitter tomorrow where I will cry about uh, my YouTube video getting demonetized. <laughs> Anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been uh, a chiller video. I'm not. I had a little tequila, so I was a little more relaxed. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. If you don't mind, uh, hop onto Site Jabber and create yourself an account and leave a uh, 14 paragraph review about your YouTube experience, and then gently drop your trousers and uh, lube up your kneecaps and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Boy, do I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.